This week we dive into the world of 12 volt electrics, installing a brand new off-grid electrical system in this old T4 camper van. We're going to show you everything in this install, from the lights to the split charge relay, all the way up to the solar. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to the T4 Van Build Series. This week we're going to be diving into everything to do with the electrics. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that we started it, but I was saving all the electric components of this build for this video so you can see it all in one place. So the first job is to tackle the solar. So the panels are already up on the roof, they're ready to be drilled in. First of all, we've got to connect the solar cables up in a series connection. I'm going for a series connection because it's just better in the Welsh weather. On cloudy days, you still get a little bit of solar power rather than going for a parallel connection. So. Gotta connect those up. Apply some sealant to the brackets and screw them into the roof as well so they're a really strong fix in. So let's get that done. All right, got the solar up on the roof. Wanted to put the panels lengthways, but they just didn't fit. So they're on sideways now. Sealed to the roof and also screwed down through the roof as well. So super, super solid. And now all I've got to do is do the solar entry uh, just in front of the two panels. So they'll run down and go straight to where the electrics are going to terminate. So let's get that done. Just like that, our solar is on, and it went on like an absolute treat. So the cables are now running through to the van. Label them positive and negative because uh, you can't tell otherwise. Yeah, top tip if you're fitting a solar kit, make sure you label the positive and negative. I'll pick you up later this afternoon when we're going to be running the cables for the USB sockets. But uh, until then, got some cladding to fit, which is strange because you would have seen this in last week's video. So yeah, anyway, pick you up then. Good morning, another day on the van build, working on the electrics. I'm gonna start by apologizing that this video is gonna be a little bit choppy. It's gonna be filmed on different stages of the build and you're gonna see things that you've already seen, but just not the electric side of things. So we're at a position now where we need to start thinking about electrical connections. In particular, running an earth cable. We're gonna make a chassis earth, so it's not a floating system, it's a grounded system. So it runs off the same earth as the actual van battery itself. And the electrics are gonna be terminated in this area. I've got all the electrical connections running down to this area, two USB ports, three lights in the ceiling, as well as the solar coming down off the roof. So I need the earthing connection to be as close to here as possible. There's a beam here, which is absolutely fine for doing the earthing connection. What I'm gonna do is take a wire brush, file back the paint so it's down to bare metal, so it's a really strong connection. And then I'm just gonna attach the end of this 35 mil pre-made battery cable from 12 volt planet straight to the actual van itself. And then it'll come through the wall and attach to our negative bus bar when the actual electrical system goes in place. But for now, we've got to do all these preparation steps to make sure everything's done correctly and safely. So when this electrical system is installed, it's a safe and usable system. So before this wall gets up, we've got to do this earth connection. There we go, nice and easy. That earth is in place now, so I can carry on with the clad in. And then when the time comes, pull that earth through and just connect it to our negative bus bar. All right, good afternoon everyone. Doing a bit more of the electrics today. We've just got the kitchen in. So if you watched last week's video, we're doing this exactly the same time as that's happened. We're gonna be moving on to getting these lights in. Now we did all the pre-wiring before the cladding went up, basically one 1.5 mil split core cable going down the length of the ceiling for our three spotlights. We use these lights in our Fiat Ducato build. So these are basically just touch lights. There's a little button in the middle. You can dim them, you can put a night light on. So it basically negates the need to run any extra cables down to a switch, switch panel. This is just a really good way of doing it. All I'm gonna be doing is cutting this cable this cable just runs to the next light and also runs to the light before it. Attaching these three-way Wago connectors to the positive and negatives of each of the wires and then just basically attaching this up as well. The way I like to explain this is going from the electric system, the positive wire will link to the positive of the next circuit going to the next light and will also connect to this positive. So all the positives will link to the positives, all the negatives will link to the negatives. It just means that you're not running a single circuit for every light. 
so it's just a super efficient way of doing it and it saves on cabling as well all right so the cables are all stripped i'll explain what i'm going to be doing so like i said three-way wager connector connecting to the first negative circuit lock that in place and then just take in the continuing circuit going down to light three and putting that into the same way go connector although i cut it you've now got that circuit continuing then from uh, light one through light two over to light three so now there's an extra port which the negative of the light can go into and i'll do exactly the same for the positives and i forgot to mention this previously these way connectors are super good because they are not really susceptible to any vibrations from being on the road so these these fixings should last uh, years to come so uh, that's all done now we can just use the extra way go ports on the three-way way connectors and get this light put in place so negative goes into negative and then positive goes into positive and now your white's all wired white and now your light's all wired and i can go on to the next light on the last one because it's the end of the circuit we're just going to be using two-way wago connectors because one positive will link to the positive of the light and one negative will link to the negative of the light as well and that way it's all one circuit and we can just turn them on when we want to use them exactly the same way as we did the lights we're going to be doing the usb sockets using way go connectors and then that should be them done these are surface mounted so that if you've got any electrical problems further down the line you can just drill this off the wall and get at the connections to make sure they're all fine one thing i forgot to mention with these way go clips they're basically mini bus bars so if you look at the front you can just see the the tabs that you pull up to actually lock and unlock the, the, the unit itself but if you look on the back and you give it a pull once the cable is in you can check if you've got a really solid connection so as long as you've got enough bare wire and it's hitting that uh, that silver bar at the back you're on to a winner Before we get into how we're going to be fitting our electric system fully, I wanted to interrupt this video and talk to you about today's video sponsor, 12 Volt Planet. If you watched the last fan build series, the Fiat Ducato, you'll know that we raved about 12 Volt Planet as they're a one stop shop for everything van build electrics. From the cables to the fusing, all the way up to the main parts of electric systems like your MPPT charge controllers and your DC to DC chargers as well. Just like the last fan build we did, we jumped on the 12 Volt Planet website and got everything we needed to make this 12 Volt electric system work in this van. On the website everything is really well organized and makes the process of designing an electrical system really easy and straightforward with everything you may need being in one place a great thing about 12 volt planet is you don't have to buy anything in bulk you can select the exact amount of cable you need the right amount of fuses fuse holders you can customize your whole system and have everything delivered to you super quick and really convenient so you can get on with actually installing it and if you're new to 12 volt electrics and you have no idea where to start or even if you've got an understanding but still have a few questions the support team in 12 volt planet are out of this world and will help you with any questions you may have regarding your electric system and there's no question on quality with 12 volt planet everything they sell is to the highest standard as these guys know that the vans we build are our pride and joys and the beating heart of those vans are the electric systems so rest assured when you buy from 12 volt planet you're going to be getting the highest quality for your van build and i have got a discount code for you so if you want to purchase from 12 volt planet i'll leave a link down in the description and when you're ready to check out use a discount code couple with a camper five for five percent off your order massive thank you to 12 volt planet for working with us on this video but now let's get into the install good morning it's another day working on the electrics on this old t4 today we're going to be starting the wiring for the split charge relay now i am going to be posting a dedicated video just for the split charge system because i think it's something that a lot of people do a lot of people just want to know how to do it right so I'm going to be posting a dedicated video either before or after this one not sure yet but uh, i'll give you the gist of it in this video anyway so this is where i want all the electrics to be terminated which is just behind the driver's seat and this is the van battery so we've got to get the positive connection from here into the back and to do so we're going to be running through the same hole as the bonnet latch comes through i've already put a 20 mil grommet on it so the cables can't get damaged once it's actually rooted into place so let's feed the wire All right, that's the cable all routed for the split charge. Just need to actually wire up the split charge itself now and pop a fuse in the engine bay in the fuse holder and we'll be good to go and it'll be live. Next thing I do electrical now is when the sofa is being built. But yeah, it's looking really good. Lights are in, the split charge is going well. So yeah, I'll pick you up when I do anything else electrical. Well, good morning. 
it's a lovely dreary day here in Wales. So it's time to get the electrics then. Got the sofa going in, so now is the time to actually get all the electrics terminated before I carry on with building the rest of the sofa and the bed. So we've got everything laid out on the table that we're going to be using. We've got the split charge, the fuse box, everything we need to actually wire this in. And we've just got to figure out how to get all that in there so first things first most importantly the battery we've gone for a 130 amp hour lead acid battery this fan's pretty much going to be used for like uh, weekend trips and, and maybe the odd week here and there it's not going to be used as extensively as we use our van so haven't gone for anything bigger than 130 amps mainly to save weight and to save space because it is going under the sofa so this is going to be terminated as close to the electrics as i can i've got some pre-made battery wires to run from this straight to the electric system from 12 volt planet but first things first we've got to get some terminals attached to these see where this is going to go and then we'll go from there All right, now those terminals are on, let's get these bus bars in place. And if you're confused about what bus bars actually do, because I was when I first started looking into 12 volt electrics, bus bars are essentially just an extension of your battery terminals. It prevents you having four, five, six connections all on one post and spreads them over a few, which are uh, rated to a certain amount of amps. So they're definitely a good idea. And uh, I always love to put them in because uh, it just makes it a more safe and uh, neat install. So yeah, let's get these on. So there we are, that's the bus bars all in place. Got the earth from the chassis running into one side of the bus bar and then the battery negative running into the other side of the bus bar as well. I've used the same thickness cable from the battery to the chassis just so everything's nice and safe. So it's 35 mil pre-made battery cable from 12 volt planet. So let's get everything wired up. Right, that's the relay all put in place. It essentially just senses when the alternator has provided enough power to the battery that it's full and then diverts the power into this battery and it's ignition protected as well so it's not going to drain the system when the van's off which is really good. Now that everything's wired up, technically if I check a fuse in there the light should come on so moment of truth. This is always a scary part, I don't know why. Hey, we have light. It's the second time I've put a system in a van but it still surprises me that it actually works when it comes to it. So I'm super happy about that. All I gotta do now is make sure that the charging sockets work and then the covers can go on those, the fuses can go in place. So once the solar's in, this will be a uh, job done. Amazon has just paid us a visit and delivered this bad boy. The Victron MPPT 7515 that we're gonna be installing into our electric system. This is the last piece of the puzzle when it comes to this electric system. Once this is in, I'll be signing off and that'll be this electric system done. But first we've got to get this mounted on the wall and get a fuse run between the MPPT and the battery. And that's the electric system all finished. Really happy with how neat of an install it is. I know it's not the prettiest, but I don't think it looks too bad. And now everything's functional. The solar's working. Got the preset done on that as well. And all set up for the lead acid. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this electrics install. If you've got any questions about it, about the components I used, how I did anything, drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, massive shout out to 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring this video. If you do want to check them out, I will leave a link down in the description. They are amazing when it comes to 12 volt electrics and we've used them for this build and our previous build as well. So yeah, if you do make a purchase, we have got a discount code, like I said, couple with the Camper 5. Use that at checkout to get 5% off your next order. Next week, you join us as we start to build the sofa and get this van looking like a livable space. If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing down below, drop the video a like and stay tuned for next week's video. But until then, we'll catch you next time.